Imagine if we could take carbon dioxide emissions from a power plant and not only remove them from the environment, but turn them into a valuable commodity. Well, we can. Meet the Wyoming Integrated Test Center, a public-private partnership designed to foster the next generation of energy technology. The ITC will provide space for researchers to test carbon capture and utilization technologies using actual coal-derived flue gas from Basin Electric Power Cooperative's Dry Fork Station. So how does it work? Coal burns to generate steam, which turns a turbine to produce electricity. The exhaust gas moves through scrubbers to remove pollutants such as sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxides, and mercury, as well as thousands of filters to remove tiny ash particles to prevent smog. What remains and is released into the air through the stack is a very clean flue gas, consisting mostly of water vapor. A small amount of this exhaust, about 12%, is carbon dioxide, or CO2. At the ITC, researchers will work to perfect technologies that can both remove this CO2 from the exhaust stream and then use it for other purposes. Just prior to entering the stack, about 5% of the flue gas from Dry Fork Station will be delivered to the ITC through a carbon steel duct. There, researchers will have access to test their technologies under real-world conditions, providing scientists a setting unlike anything achievable in a laboratory. The first step is to effectively and economically remove the CO2 from the flue gas. As we speak, researchers are developing a number of innovative solutions. But those successes need to be tested at larger levels, like what is available at the ITC. The second step is figuring out what to do with the captured CO2. CO2 is already being used for a number of purposes, including enhanced oil recovery or for producing concrete, plastic materials, and biofuels. The ITC provides an opportunity to take this innovation to the next level with technologies that are more reliable and affordable. Some of the ITC's first tenants will be teams competing for the NRG COSIA Carbon X Prize. They are testing technologies that will capture CO2 and turn it into products like fertilizer, fish food, building materials, and carbon nanotubes. Now we're talking about taking CO2 and transforming it from a waste product into a valuable asset. In Wyoming, responsible environmental stewardship and innovative resource development are not mutually exclusive. The state is home to both Yellowstone National Park and the largest coal mines in America. Wyoming is committed to balancing energy production and environmental concerns. The ITC is yet another example of this unwavering commitment and creative problem solving. Carbon capture technologies have come a long way over the past 40 years, but we can still do better. Through the Wyoming ITC, we can move transformative carbon capture technology forward and shape a smarter, cleaner, and more affordable energy future.